Hello. So, uh, here I'm back again, and uh, this time the question it says solve this inequality because here is an inequality sign for x. Now, there's something else. We have the modulus sign here, and here as well. So, this is a modulus inequality containing both the inequality sign and the mod functions. So, that's why it's a modulus inequality. Now, how do we do this? Now, there are different ways of doing this three in particular you could draw the graphs of y equals 3x minus 1 mod of 3x minus 1 and the graph of y equals the mod of 2x plus 5 so when you draw the graphs of these two functions you'll get you see that these two functions will intersect at two points yeah these will I think they are called the critical values and our solution will lie between these two values that's one way the other way the second one is to use the property that the mod of any function let's say the mod of x is gonna equal square root of x squared now how do we reach this now what's, what does this mod sign mean it simply means we are making the value whatever inside is uh, inside this signs positive that is to say what's the mod of 2 2 what's the modulus of minus 2 that's gonna be 2 as well so when we put anything between the modulus sign we are making the value inside positive if there's positive inside it will be positive even if there's a negative inside this is gonna be positive so what's the modulus of x if x is positive the mod is going to be positive x even if x is negative the mod of x is will result in positive x and what's the square root of x squared this is going to be x therefore from these two we reach this and we can use this here mod of x is root of x squared so what's the mod of 3x minus 1? The mod of 3x minus 1 is uh, 3x minus 1 whole squared less than what's the mod of 2x plus 5? Square root of 2x plus 5 whole squared. Now squaring both sides don't cancel this you will get this you'll just get 3x minus 1 is less than the, okay, that is let's don't let's not go there and you will not get the correct result doing that squaring both sides whole squared less than 2x plus 5 whole squared okay and expand then expand blah 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 you'll get a quadratic equation solve that you will get a quadratic inequality solve that and you will get the value now those are the two methods graphical and this one now the method that i suggest is numerical method uh, okay this is also numerical uh, this method what you do is as already said if you draw the graphs you will get two points of intersection and our solution for the inequality will lie between these two values so if we can work out these two points of intersection we can just imply what we can just state what the solution is going to be so first of all we need the points of intersection now how do we do this by drawing a graph you could find the points of intersection or you can find the points of intersection by this 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 5 now what does this mean this means the points of intersection of the graphs what does the point of intersection of these two values of these two graphs give the points of intersection will give the values that satisfy 
both this equation and this equation as well so in other words when we let this equals this we'll find the points of intersection if you are confused that's only you need this let this equals this you will get the points of intersection now what's this going to be now this may this implies a number of things so mod of 3x minus 1 is equal to the mod of 2x plus 5 now 3x minus 1 may be positive or negative and 2x plus 5 may be also positive or negative so it, it implies that either 3x minus 1 positive 3x minus 1 is equal to positive 2x plus 5 also negative 3x minus 1 is gonna equal to negative 2x plus 5 because th this is either positive or negative this is also either positive or negative so positive equals positive negative equals negative or positive equals negative uh, I did a video earlier and I forgot to put brackets on and that ruined the whole effort okay so this or negative equals positive or positive equals negative wait wait positive equals okay positive equals positive negative equals negative positive equals negative and negative equals positive five okay from these two Look, minus minus cancel out, we get 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 5. And from these two, they are the same thing. If you multiply both sides by minus, you will get minus 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 5. Multiply this by minus, you get 3x minus 1 equals minus 2x plus 5. So these two will give one another thing, that are 3x minus 1. I'm going to put it like this multiply this by minus so minus minus plus equals minus 2x plus 5 if we combine these two we'll get 3x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2x plus 5 from these two so what so this implies this and from that we'll get these two values okay let's do now we got this equals this this let okay before writing this you should write let you may write not necessary let 3x minus 1 equals mod of 3x minus 1 equals the mod of 3x plus 5 for the points of intersection and this implies this okay so therefore we'll get two values of x either 3x minus 1 equals 2x plus 5 this is x equals 6 this is one point of intersection and other one is uh, 3x minus 1 equals minus 2x minus 5 5x equals minus 4 equals minus 4 by 5 therefore these two points of intersection one is minus 4 by 5 and the other is 6 and as I already said as we already said before the solution for the inequality will lie between these two values so minus 4 by 5 here is x and here is 6 x will lie between this that will satisfy this so what's the sign gonna be a symbol is less than you put less than here if yours less than or equal to you put less than or equal to this is what you do now if there's less than or equal to or less than you do this you just put whatever sign there is but what if let's say 3x minus 1 is greater than 2x plus 5 what do we do now it's the same thing 4 by 5 x lies 
Okay, since it's greater, we cannot say that x will lie between, but these points, these two values are needed. So, okay, let's do the same thing as x. Okay, just say that x lies between these two. There's a greater than sign. So, greater than. Now, let's just see. Does this make sense? Okay. It's minus 4 by 5. Here's 6 x lies between these two okay makes sense but look at here x is greater than 6 x lies here and x is less than minus 4 by 5 does this make sense no in other words if there's a greater than sign writing like this will make your answer wrong because this doesn't make sense so we need to separate this so one will be x is greater than 6 and other one will be what x is less than minus 4 by 5 yeah, greater than 6 minus 4 by 5. Combining doesn't make sense, but in this case, uh, individually written, make, they make sense. Okay, so this is how we do. If there's, let's say, this sign, just put this sign here and see if this makes sense. No, this doesn't make sense. So, separate them. This is how we do. Just remember that whenever there's a modulus inequality given like this you find the critical values thus let this equals mod of this equals mod of this and this equals plus minus this will get the critical values and the values should lie between these two points yeah if there's less than just put less than sign or less than or equal just put the sign yeah, and look, it makes sense. X lies between minus 4 by 5 and 6. Correct. Now, if there's a greater than sign, just put it like this anyway. Anyways, just put it like this and see. But this doesn't make sense, does it? X is greater than 6, less than minus 4 by 5. This doesn't make sense. So, in order to make this sensible, we need to separate this. So, if there's less than or less than or equal to, uh, your answer should probably be in this combined state. If this is greater than, then your answer should be in individual uh, forms. Okay, in individuals. Just keep that in mind. So this is how we do modulus inequalities. And if the inequality just says 3x minus 1, if this, this is not an inequality, if there is a modulus equation, what to do just do this and you'll get two values so this is how you do this i hope this was helpful uh, thank you okay